Welcome to the Sunnia Tents. My name is Julia and I would like to share with you my impression from this wonderful city. It was a very short trip in July on the way to Cape Sunio, so I didn't visit all the must-see places, including Acropolis from the close perspective. Because in July and August temperatures can be extreme, so it makes all the way up to Acropolis very challenging and sometimes even dangerous. So I had to skip this experience. But you can see Parthenon from many locations in the city. My trip started at the airport of Athens. I booked a car transfer in advance. On my way to the city center, I saw many interesting places, and to be honest, I was happy to see them from the car. When it is more than 36, you can't stay outside for a long time. My first stop was for a lunch at Old Itaki restaurant. The food was not bad, but super overpriced for that type of food that I had and casual restaurant. Also, the service was not really friendly, so I can't recommend you this place. Right near the restaurant, I have visited two churches, the Metropolitan Cathedral of Annunciation and Aegis Eleftherius Church. It is difficult to compare them, because of the style, size and many centuries divide them. But I still like the small church better. It is very cozy, unique, you can really feel a story in every single detail. The next stop was a Monasteraki Square, and I highly recommend you to visit this place. From this point you can see an Acropolis and walk through the famous Plaka neighborhood, surrounded by hundreds of authentic shops, cafes and restaurants. Also, there is a famous flea market. Unfortunately, I was there in a wrong time, but I still could find a few authentic shops with different old books, porcelain and other objects. Here you can really feel the authentic and unique spirit of Athens. You can get some nice souvenirs and don't miss the opportunity to try an ice cream or coffee at one of the local cafes. While walking through these narrow streets and seeing ahead an ancient Acropolis or Agora, I had a question. What has in common ancient and contemporary Greece? Because sometimes, when you see neighborhoods all covered by graffiti, not renovated, garbage on the streets, you might think that these are two different parallel worlds. But it takes a time to understand Greece. Greece, and particularly contemporary Athens, it is more than just a street or a building, it is a culture and a lifestyle. When you don't have to rush, when you always have a time for coffee and a small talk with a friend or a neighbor, at some point, time there is going slower, like a calm sea waves. They have lovely people, tasty food, beautiful sea and amazing culture. And I'm sure one day they will have enough of courage to create something big and amazing again.
During this one-day walk, I was able to visit two wonderful museums, the National Archaeological Museum and Benaki Museum. I would really recommend you to see both of them, especially the National Archaeological Museum. They have an amazing collection of artifacts that you definitely saw from the school books or TV shows. Even if you don't like this type of museums, this is really a must-visit place. Please enjoy the rest of the video and don't forget to subscribe. I will be happy to hear your thoughts and comments about this amazing city. Thank you for watching my video. See you soon.